Hey, 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 all right, everybody, how's it going? Now, I got a story by here in front of me, and there's a council again, different council, and it's more of an upbeat story about EVs. But I'll get to that in a minute, well, maybe longer than a minute. It all depends how long I waffle for. Um, I'll try and keep it short. But the last video about the parish council that didn't want any sort of electric EV chargers, eight EV chargers, it was in the MFG group petrol station. Um, that video there did attract some anti-EV people. Well, quite a lot of anti-EV people. And it was probably to do with the actual thumbnail, which looked like it was negative towards EVs because it said, Parish Council says no to electric charging points, which th them type of uh, thumbnails attract anti-EV people and then when they come in and they find out that I'm not anti-EV and I'm not in their club they get a little bit miffed <laughs> so some of them like to argue with me about certain stuff uh, one guy he said he was an electric engineer I don't know if he's going to watch this video he might not but I'm suspicious of when people say I used to be an electric engineer they they give their credentials first before they start saying anything um it sort of gets my spidey senses tingling a bit. I mean, is he actually an electric engineer or does he just know a little bit about something? He, he might be, he might not, but I'm just saying I get suspicious when people lead with, oh, I'm an electric engineer and blah, blah, blah. And he was trying to say that um, they can't put charges there because uh, they might not have enough power in that area for the chargers. And I was trying to say that MFG... Um, They've done lots of hubs in the UK and they probably do all the planning and stuff to see if they can put them there beforehand. They don't just go oh, on a whim, right, we'll just bang them here and then see if we can get the capacity, the electric capacity or whatever it is there later on. They do all these checks. That's what it's all about. They do the checks first, not after. So I was arguing my point with him and in a roundabout way, he ended up answering his own question and said, of course it can be done. So <laughs> so anyway, with that being said, and all, and also, see, I did it, I'm waffling again tonight. Um, and also, I did go and look at the actual planning permission. And I did go and look at the comments that the people in the village made and the complaints they made. Some of the complaints were, uh, you could say valid, and then some of the complaints were a little bit silly. Like, there's a house next door and where the charges are, they go to the side of his house, not the back or front of the house. Um, and he was getting worried about electromagnetic fields from the actual substation. But I looked and the substation is in a big metal box and then they're going to put something around that, then they're going to put fences around that and it's going to be a big wall. So they just, oh, I don't know. Right, so it is a bit nimby, nimby-ish. Um, and also, um, it's a 24-hour petrol station. It's open 24 hours for certain things. And they were worried about worried about noise, but it's going to be more noise from petrol pumps than electric chargers. So come on. Come on, man. Anyway, let's get back to this one. So it's a short story. I know I've waffled on, but let's get back to this one. Now, this is about Blaina Gwent Council. Now, Blaina Gwent Council, so I'll... I'll tell you about Blaine Gwent Council. Blaine Gwent Council is in the valleys in South Wales. It's South Wales, but it's, it's north of South Wales, if that makes sense. Um, the Blaine Gwent Council, I think, is the poorest council, or whatever, you know, the, the, the borough, in Wales. It's the poorest one in Wales, before I start, okay? So remember that. So the headline is Blaine Gwent Council channel their energy is a play on words by you channel their energy into gully channels for electric vehicle home charging trials. So they've put out um, trials for uh, gully charging. Now, if my memory serves me right or correct, uh, a couple of months back I did something about gully charging and then. A couple of people jumped in on the comments and it was a video on YouTube about people could get electrocuted if they got gully charging 
and they both touch each other in a certain way. <laughs> it's something like that. It's something about if they touch somebody else's car when they're charging their car, like that, stretch a leg, stretch, stretch a leg over there. <laughs> it was something like that. If they touch somebody else's car when they're plugging in their charge at the same time, you know, like that, there's a chance that something could happen. If you remember what it is, put it in the comment section. I can't quite remember, but it was something like that. The chances are super slim. But anyway, put that to one side, um, because isn't it weird? I'm going to go to rant now. Isn't it weird, right? That uh, if a, if an electric car catches fire, right? It's it's like it's the worst thing in the world. Okay, right? It's the worst thing ever, right? It's it's so dangerous. It's unbelievably dangerous. Is, is the worst fire known to man. But if a petrol car catches fire, you can go up to it and go and light a cigarette off and it's fine. Uh, that, that's the way people act. They act as if petrol car fires, diesel car fires, other fires are fine, absolutely fine. We're used to them. We're used to them kind of fires, so it's absolutely fine. I ain't going on a rant. Right, let's get back to this. Right, Blaine Gwent Council channel their energy into gully channels for electric vehicles home charging trial. Now, um, I thought we'd be past trials now. I thought let other council, councils could say to these councils, look, we've had trials, they work. You can have a channel, it's all hunky-dory, get on with it. But it looks like every single council has got to have trials before they go ahead with it. I don't know why, why can't one council do it and just send all the information to all the councils? I don't know. If you know why, tell me in the comment section. Um, so they did a campaign via social media in January um, and they were asking any residents in the Blaine Gwent area if they were thinking of getting an electric car or have an electric car and they can't charge at home, they haven't got off street parking and they're using public charging or will be using public charging. And it looks like the picture by it looks like some people have put their names forward, but the picture I'm looking at now, I don't want to put the picture up because it looks like it's a it's a picture of a person who lives in Blaine Gwent. So I don't want to put a picture of their face up, but um, I'll try and blur it. And if I can't blur it, I'll try and describe the picture. And it looks like the person's house is elevated. That's what it looks like to me. It's elevated uh, and it's on a hill. And so they've got to come out of the house, down a wall, under the gully, then up onto the house. Now I'm assuming that the clips on the wall are ones you can just clip it in and then take it back out again because you wouldn't have you wouldn't be able to put it anywhere otherwise so i'm assuming that's what it is so that's you could say that's quite a challenging sort of situation there it's quite challenging because the house is not level with the pavement it's like up in the air it's almost i'd say the elevation is about it's over about four and a half foot maybe is elevated up on a wall um now I don't know any other way out of that. I don't think there's any other way. You could put some sort of gully in the wall as well. I, I, I don't know. But I'm, I'm assuming that what I'm looking at, because I can't quite tell, I think what I'm looking at is clips in the wall, gully in the pavement, so nobody trips over it. But anyway, they, they, did, a, they, now they did this, and they are the poorest uh, count, uh, council area, borough or whatever, in South Wales, or in Wales actually, I should say in Wales, and they're going ahead with these studies. Now I found out, found out about this because a friend of mine, a friend of mine who was anti-EV, he was very, very, very anti-EV, and he's actually on mobility, he's disabled, and uh, he's actually, his next car, he's already ordered it, he's ordered a Peugeot 3008 EV, uh, a Lua, not the top of the range one. The, you only get two models, I think, on mobility. But he's ordered a, a, three, a 3008 Peugeot 3008 EV with something like a 72, 73 kilowatt hour battery. And he's got that coming. He's got, he's got, he can park, he's got a driveway. He's fine, he's absolutely fine. But he lives in our area, but he sent it to me. And the reason why he sent it to me, because now he's pro EV, he wasn't pro EV a couple of months, a couple of few months back. He was against EVs. No, he's pro EV. Um, as soon as he jumped in an EV and tried one, he, he was he was like, "I'm sold. I'm having one." Um, so he sent me this, and the reason he sent me this, I know this is a long waffle story, so stick with me. There's no 
fantastic end to this because I've said what it is. <laughs> um, but the reason why he sent me this was because he was having a discussion on the Blainer Gwent Facebook page or something. And people were arguing that a, the council is wasting money on trialling these EV gullies because uh, nobody's going to buy EVs in the future. It's either going to be something like, some guy was saying that it was going to be ammonia cars, which is a load of rubbish. Uh, and other people were saying hydrogen cars or whatever. It, anything except EV. Look, if, if they heard there was a cow dung car, right? They, they'd, they'd rather go for that than an, an EV. They'd go, oh, cow dung cars are the future. You've got, all you do is you get a nozzle <laughs> and it pumps in liquid cow dung into your car. Much better than an EV. You know what the, these people are like. Anything other than an EV, if you know what I mean. So they're saying that the um, vehicle charging trial has been a success. And they're going ahead with more trials, but they've already said it's been a success. So it looks like they are going to allow to have gullies in the Blaine Gwent area. So there we go. So that's a nice council story. Not a terrible, nasty council story, but a nice council story. Um, sorry I waffled on then. It was a bit of a waffle. Might not have made much sense. <laughs> but if you did like my waffle, or you've got any stories about councils near you, are they doing trials for gullies or other types of, you know, people who haven't got off-road parking? Is there anything happening like that in your area? Put it in the comment section. And if you did like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hi-hi! -hi.